Namundi here. Please help me with the sketch. Chain. Thank you. Sketched is the graph of f, the inverse of a restricted parabola. So here I have an inverse of a restricted parabola. Then the point A lies on the graph of f. So the point there, which is that point, lies on, the, on this particular function. And then determine the equation of f in the form y is equal to um, a. y is equal to something. So I want... Now, what I have here is the graph of f, which is an inverse of a restricted parabola. Now, I want to know what this is. Remember, this starts there, right? So, if it starts there, it would mean that um, what I have here is y is equal to the square root of, uh, this will be the square root of, not the square root, I'm lying, sorry about that. So what I will have here is y is equal to ax squared, right? That's the first thing I can think about whenever I'm drawing this. But because this is an inverse graph, it means that the inverse graph is normally the plus or minus the square root of the ax uh, part. So if it is like this, would, it would then mean that they took the restricted part, which is the positive axis above there. So it will just be the positive square root of ax, which is what I have there. So to then find the equation of this, I will then say y is equal to the square root of um, ax, which is what I have. And then I was given a coordinate pair, which is the 2 and 8. So I will have, say square root of a multiplied by 8 there. And then this will then be equal to, remember what I'll have, it's 2 is equal to a to the exponent 1 over 2 multiplied by 8 to the exponent of 1 over 2. And then I will have 2 divided by 2 to the exponent of 3 multiplied by 1 over 2 is equal to a to the exponent 1 over 2 there. And then here I will have this as 2 to the exponent of 1 minus uh, 3 over 2 and this will then be equal to a to the exponent 1 over 2. Then I'll have 2 to the exponent minus 1 over 2 is equal to uh, a to the exponent 1 over 2. So this is the same as a is equal to 1 over a2 there. So this will be 1 over 2 as my answer. Then lastly, I will then say it's y is equal to the square root of 1 over 2x. Then hence write down the equation of f prime of x in the form of. So remember we said f of x is equal to f of x, I just said it's 1 over 2x. Uh, x there. So that would then mean if I want to find the inverse, I must reflect this. Let me just do it down here. So we have y is equal to the square root of 1 over 2x. I must reflect this by y is equal to x. So it means it's going to be x is equal to the square root of 1 over 2 x and then what I need to do then here will then be y I mean sorry this is y here what I need to do is make y the subject of the formula so I'm gonna square both sides to get rid of the square root so I'll have 1 over 2 y is equals to x squared and then I must multiply it by multiply it by 1 2 over 1 multiply it by 2 over 1 so lastly my y will be equals to a 2x squared and that will be the equation that I have for the inverse. The next question says, write down the coordinates of A prime, the inverse of the point. Now remember the inverse of the point, what did I say I had said? It must always be the reflection about the line Y is equal to that. So X was equal to 8 and Y was equal to 2. So it means that I need to then swap these around because I'm... I'm finding the inverse point of it. So it means that for the inverse, for the inverse, I will have x as equals to 2 and I will have y as equals to 8. Therefore, a prime will then be uh, 2 and 8, which is the coordinate that they wanted. 
then the last question will then say, give the domain and range of, of f of, of g of x if g of x is equals to that. So now let's remember what f prime of x was. F prime or f to the negative one was equal to two x squared, right? I hope you guys remember that. Now for it to be like this, it means wherever there's x, I must substitute x plus five. So it will be two into x plus five all squared, and then they say I must subtract 2 from this. So this will be my g of x. Now to find the, the domain and range, remember what I said about range. It's always from the y, the, y inter, the y value of the turning point going to positive or negative infinity. So since this is a happy face, it means this is a minimum here. Therefore, it will be y is greater or equal to 5. Then lastly, my x will be an element of all the real numbers that I have. Now, so that's what I had, guys, for you for today. I hope you guys had fun with functions. We looked at a few things, and I mentioned that there's five things that are important, please. X, Y, intercept, domain and range, turning point, or the asymptotes if you're dealing with the other function, and also, lastly, will be the shape of the graph.